What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Star Raptor with a regulation D team. This team also features a nice heavy trick room set with Ferrigarath, Ursaluna, and Torgal. And then you also got Screamtail and Urshfu. Should be a fun team that we use on regulation D ladder. Hopefully we get the rock out with it. Use Star Raptor a lot and grab you guys some wins. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But Star Raptor is one of the best regional birds in my opinion. And we haven't really seen it too much in the meta or on the rank ladder in regulation D. So it's going to definitely be fun to actually use this Pokemon. It's got Intimidate alongside with the Chewy Scarf. And then it has Brave Bird, Close Combat, Final Gambit, and U-Turn. So what you can actually do with this Pokemon is lead it alongside with Ferrigarath. Go into a Final Gambit, take out whatever Pokemon you want, and have Ferrigarath pop a Trick Room. And then have a free swap going into like Ursulina or Torkoal. Pretty cool combo right there. Hopefully we get to use it up and uh, get the Trick Room set up with that. In our second slot, we got Urshfu over here. Not the Water Urshfu, but the Dark Urshfu. Gotta give this one some love. It's got Unseen Fist alongside with the Focus Ash, and then its moveset is pretty normal with Wicked Blow, Sucker Punch, Close Combat, and Detect. In our third slot is the lovely Giraffe. We got Ferrigarath with Armor Tail and the Guaf Berry, Rockin' Psychic, Dazzling Gleam, Trick Room, and Protect. Ursaluna is in our fourth slot. Ursaluna, once it's in the Trick Room, is a deadly Pokemon. With Guts and Flame Worm, makes his damage go crazy, and then a good move set of Facade, EQ, Headlong Rush, and Protect. In our fifth slot, we got Screamtail. Screamtail is solid for setting up Trick Room and actually being in Trick Room. It has Protosynthesis alongside with Safety Goggles, and then Rock Dazzling Gleam, Trick Room, Encore, and Helping Hand. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be Torkoal, and Torkoal, obviously top tier when it's in the Trick Room, and it's also really good at controlling weather. It has Drought, it has Charcoal as its item with Eruption, Flamethrower, Earth Power, and Protect. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that Regulation D ladder, let's grab some wins with this Star Raptor Trick Room team. First match coming at you guys, going up against a Don Dozo and Tatsugiri team. They're also rocking out with uh, Tornadus, Urshfu, and then they have a little bit of Trick Room of their own with Ursaluna and Cresselia. Who should I lead? How should I play this one? I think Star Raptor could be a solid lead alongside with Frigraph, because if they're going to lead a Pokemon to stop Trick Room, honestly, Tornadus would be the player, and they would pop a nice little uh, taunt coming in me. But uh, we got Armor Tail, so that can actually block it. So I'm going to go Frigraph. I am going to go Star Raptor here in match number one. In the back end, I am going to bring Ursa Luna. And last but not least, I think we can really thrive out with Ursa, especially with the Focus Ash. And just in case they want to counter Trick Room, I'm really liking that. So I'm going to go in with all them. Do I swap Torkoal for Urshfu? Mm, I don't think so. Wait, let me see your moveset. Yeah, no, I don't think so. Because I feel as we need a Pokemon to get some work done onto other guys too. So I like that. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. And on top of that, they do not have a Pokemon to set the Psychic Surge. So Sucker Punch is always coming clutch. Whether Trick Room's on the field or Trick Room's not on the field. But I wonder who they're going to lead because they can actually do multiple different things. They can go in the crest, try to counter my Trick Room that way, or just play with my Trick Room. Or they can bring those Pokemon in the back end. Like I said, this team is kind of half and half, so we'll see what they want to do. And they're going to end up leading Urshfu and Tornados. Okay, cool. So I got Star Raptor, I got Furigis out here, and from here, yeah, I'm just going to pop a Trick Room. It's pretty free. So I'm going to go Trick Room, and I'm just going to final Gambit down this... Uh, it's Urshifu, right? And I'm choosing the fi final Gambit, and I'm just going to go into a Trick Room. I could honestly Brave Bird, but just in case he wants to Terrasilize here, we could just final Gambit and just get rid of it. That's, that's really what I want. I would rather just get rid of Urshifu right off the rip. And there's the Terror. There is the Terror. The good thing we are going straight into the final Gambit instead of the Brave Bird. So good call from me. Good call from me. The Water Terror does come out here, so if we can final Gambit this... That would be insane. That would be really, really good for us. Because then I get rid of Urshfoot and I get rid of Terra. The Tailwind is going to pop. You going after? You got to be going after Friggy, right? And we're going to go after my... Okay, that's fine. You're going to go after my Star Raptor. Who's going to die out here, which is fine. But I get off Trick Room. I get off Trick Room. Okay, so I'm fine with it. Would have really loved the Tailwind didn't pop out there. But I'm super surprised he did pop Tailwind. I wasn't really expecting him, especially with Fergraph out on the field. So he ends up using his Terra. He can go into Aqua Jets if he wants to. But from here, I can honestly use my Urshfu. And save my Ursaluna. Or I can go right into Ursaluna. 
Aqua Jet's scaring me, but I could go into a nice little ghost typing here. Hmm. I'll save my Urshfu. We'll go into Ursaluna. So I'm gonna go into Ursaluna here. I am gonna thrash slice, I think. Gonna go ghost typing. And we'll go from there. Just so he can't be super effective with the water moves, and on top of that, he can't uh He can't hit me with close combat. So I'm gonna do that, and I'm also gonna go into a Psychic? Do I double down that? I think I'm just gonna dash and gleam. Chip up some damage here. On both of them. But I don't want to double down on Earth's food because it might even protect. He ends up just straight withdrawing it. Thinking maybe I'm gonna protect. He's gonna swap into who? Who's gonna take this facade? Let me tattoo. Are you double swapping? You double swapping? Come on with that. Come on with that. The double swap. Smart little play there. My little play, so they save the Earth's food for later. Nice little play from my opponent. The double swap. You don't see that too often. The double swap into the Tatsugiri Dondozo. That's fine. He's going to get all these boosts. Um, hmm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm still terrestrializing my Ursaluna. And I'll get guts triggered, but we're going to miss a facade. Like, facade just going into the Tatsugiri slot and missing it. Hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. We will have a few turns left in Trick Room. I don't see us in a terrible position, but they definitely have the upper hand going into this one right now. The facade, missing. It would have been awesome if they just swapped into uh, Tatsu and we were able to just KO it. But they did the double swap. The Gleam flies, we're doing about 5.5 damage that thing. And he's going to Leftovers up. How dare you Leftovers up. A little bit of lefties on him. So we get the Guts triggering. We like that a lot. I'm going to start facade. It's just... It's just the best play we can make. So I'm going to facade, and I guess I'll just go into Psychic in there, I think. The facade's going to pop here. How much damage are we doing? That's a nice chunk of damage. Psychic's also going to fly. Can one more of those KO? It might be able to. I'm not too sure. But Order Up's going to come out here, which we soak pretty well. How much stat are you going to boost? Attack. Lovely attack stat. Oh, Lord. Hmm. I think I just protect Ursaluna here. How many turns left? And we need two turns left to, to pull that off. And there is two turns. So yeah, I'm going to protect Ursaluna here. And I'm just going to go for a second. Chunk up some more damage onto that uh, Dondozo. But I do believe the order up is going to come into that slot here. And Dondozo actually ends up protecting. Okay. That's fine. He wants some HP back to get rid of my Ursaluna. Hmm. This will be your last turn in Trick Room. They set them up really, really well. Really, really well. Their Tailwind's finally gone. I'm still going to stick with Facade here. i go for Double Protect. No, I do not want to go into the Tatsugiri slot. I want to go into the Dondozo slot. And on top of that, we'll Psychic. Maybe we get a Crit or something. We can just get rid of this Dondozo. That'd be big time. That'd be big time. So Facade coming out here, Bilp doing some nice damage. Psychic, can you finish that off? Come on, Psychic. Big time damage from you. Ah! On one. On one HP, now Order Up will KO me. Actually, no, we'll be able to get off one more turn here. Which he's just going to protect here. Hmm. So he's going to protect, probably let Burn KO me. Or he might just stay in. And honestly, I'm going to swap you, try to get one more turn from you, and pop a trick room. Because if he protects and lets burn KO me, we would like that. We would like that. So I'm going to swap Ursula. Try to get trick room rolling again. Kind of go from there. Let's see. Go for protect here. No, you go straight for an EQ. You go straight for an EQ. Smart play by our opponent. The EQ's ripping and I get off trick room. The trick room's set back up. Um, hmm. What do I do? What does Sheens do here? I don't want to cancel that Trick Room. Psychic can KO the... Uh... Psychic can KO you. If he protects, he still dies out, which is cool. We'll just get after him. So, I'm going to take out Dondozo. Wicked Blow is going to slide across. Which is cool. It's going to hit on that Tatsugiri. 
we are going to get after this. We're still here. We're in this match. I am scared of the... Actually, ooh, I just realized that's big time. I was going to say, I am scared of the Armor Tail. Or not Armor Tail. The Aqua Jet from the Urshu. But I realized I have Armor Tail on the field. So swapping and popping Trick Room was big time. Because I don't think that Urshu might be Bandit. It could be Bandit. And it might not have Protect. I know Tornado Shoes usually don't rock Protect. But now they're forced to go back into them. They cannot use first turn priority. We have speed on them for sure, right? For sure. And I might double down into the Urshifu. I can get rid of Urshi? That'd be big time. Because I would love to just get a Wicked Blow here. And on top of that... Actually, do I close combat instead? Because I want to see your speed real quick, Urshifu. What are you at? Oh, you're probably faster. Oh, no. You're probably faster. We didn't want that. We did not want that. We did not want that. We simply did not want that. Hmm. We're gonna double down Urshfield. Maybe I should have sucker punch, but he goes for the Aqua Jet, not realizing Armor Tails on the field. We're making plays. We're making plays. That might be game. That might be game for us. We love it. We love it. We love it. We absolutely love it. Wow, that's some big time damage. That is some big time damage. Wicked Boy is going to come out here. We wrap this one up. It was not looking good for me. And then I made the swap of the, uh, the Ursa Luna. And got off another Trick Room, which is big time. That was huge. That was huge. So just when we thought we were out of it. We make a nice, lovely comeback. But from here, I know that Tornas is faster than me. So I'm just going to go into Wicked Blow. I'm just going to go Psychic here. And that's going to be wrapping it up. Nice little comeback victory in match number two. Oh, baby. Oh, we love it. We love it. Psychic doing about half. And Wicked Blow should be able to finish off the rest of it. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and oh, What a hot start for us in match number one. Second match is on its way. And we're going up against a Trick Room team here. They got Corviknight. They got Enamorous. They got Ferrigarath. And then they're also rocking Ursaluna just like us with Iron Hands and Hisui and Gujo. So I definitely want Ursaluna of my own to get some work done. Plus, it kind of can help me get rid of that Gudra. That would be really, really good for us. So definitely want Ursaluna in here. But who should I lead? Do I go Star Raptor again? Try to go into maybe a final Gambit, get rid of somebody, and then pop maybe Trick Room? Because I wouldn't mind popping Trick Room, especially with... Ooh, I think I have to leave Friggy, right? I have to leave Friggy. I want to go in with Screamtail, but I have to leave the Friggraph just in case that they got one to come in here. So I'm going to go Star Raptor. I am going to go Friggraph, and then I am going to go Ursaluna. And then in the back end, do we go same squad with Urshifu? Or do we go in with, like, Torkoal? Because Torkoal could be really good, especially in Trick Room. But yeah, I'm going to go Torkoal. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But that first match, I thought we were done. Once that Dondozo started ripping into me, I was like, wait a minute. Maybe we could swap, eat up some shots, and get off some Trick Room. And I really did think Dondozo was going to protect. But it ended up EQing, but it was okay. We were able to soak up. And then my Pokemon had speed from there. We were just one-tapping everything left and right, getting after it that way. You got to love it. You have got to love it. But they're going to end up going into Frigraph just like us, alongside with Corbin. So I think I might, I just might go into... A final gambit here. I think I'm just gonna gambit onto the Corvo. And do I try to pop a trick room? I could just attack. I'm just gonna. Ah, uh, do I pop a trick room? Because they might pop the trick room. I'm gonna try to pop a trick room. Let's see what they do. Let's see what happens here. Let's see what happens here. So, Terrasli is gonna come out here from Fariki in the ferry, maybe? It's gonna be Fariki in the ferry. Into normal. You are a normal giraffe. A nice, lovely, normal giraffe. Are you exploding? I'm so confused here. I'm going to be able to gambit here. Can this have be enough HP? It's not. My heart, my soul. My bird dies, their bird survives. He's going to iron defense up. Luckily, he did not go for move. And we got him a low on HP. Now, what are you doing, Mr. Giraffe over there? You're hyper -voicing. That's fine by me. Throat spray hyper voice there. That's fine. That just, um, I was gonna say that shows that your frig riffs faster than mine, but I'm going for trick room, so I go last every single time. But, uh, trick room's gonna pop here. It's iron defense bulked. Uh, Earth Shoot would have been lovely here, but you know what? Now I can just go into you, right? Or do I go into Ursaluna? No, we go into Torkoal here. It's a Torkoal play all day. 
all about the Torx here. And I really want to go in the Screamtail because I want to uh, have Helping Hand next to Torkoal. But I feel as from here, especially with all their Pokemon, seems like pretty free to just go into Fire Terror Eruption, right? Makes the most sense. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to double down in the Frigoraph. And we're going to get cooking here. We are going to get cooking. Legitimately cooking because we're cooking with Torkoal. With Torkoal's heat. But yeah, this seems like like free we can go into, right? It's a nice Terra. We got Sun going. I don't think they can change weather, right? Torkoal is here in the trick. Little Turtle Boy. It's going to erupt. So we're going to say bye-bye to Corvo. We're going to do massive amount of damage onto Frigraph. Hopefully it KOs Frigraph. It does. And yeah, now we're sitting in the best spot we could possibly be sitting, right? <laughs> like, I don't think they have anybody that's going to be slower than Torkoal. They can't fake me out because I have Frigraph on the field. Torkoal's just going to be able to rip with another eruption next turn. Huge. That is huge. Beautiful. Beautiful. Do not let me set up Jerk Room. Do not let me set up Jerk Room. I'm still a little upset our Star Raptor died without taking down uh, Corviknight with it. Enamorous is going to come out here. I'm not worried about that one bit. I'm slapping in that. And Ursuline is going to come in here. I'm not worried about you. There's no way you're slower than Torkoal, right? Hold up. I have an Ursuline as well. I can actually I can actually check because that would be the only way. 49 with speed minus. Yeah, you're not slower than Torkoal. You don't have Terra. I'm able to absolutely... I'm going to erupt. I'm going to double down into Ursula. I'm going to like deal with it. And pretty much wrapping it up, right? I think Enamorous dies. Ursula might be able to soak it. We'll see. Or they just both die. Good game. Good game. Torkoal absolutely sweeping in uh, match number two. All he needed was two eruptions to get four KOs. And there it is. That easy. Third and final battle is here. And I'm not worried about this one. We're 2-0. We already guaranteed ourselves a winning record. But we're going up against a Skull Villain team. Love that Pokemon. Don't get to see it too much on the rank ladder. But they also have some slower Pokemon to deal with Trick Room. And they got Torkoal. They got Hariyama. Or not Hariyama. Iron Hands. And they're rocking out with the Zoom Realm. But they also have Dragonite and Fluttermane. So I think Trick Room is going to be our friend again. I'm going Star Raptor. I do not mind Final Gambit. Or I can just go Star Raptor alongside with like Urshfu. Try to get after it, but I'm gonna go Star Raptor Screen Tail setup. Actually, we have to go for Graph in case the fake out is coming. It's just working out perfectly. So I'm gonna go Ursaluna here. And I'm just gonna go heavy on the Trick Room side here. Torkoal, Ursaluna. We should be able to wrap this one up and look to grab ourselves a perfect record, but killing it today. I feel like every time I use Trick Room teams, I just dominate my opponents. I'm, oh, I'm always powerhousing with Trick Room teams. I feel like they're just easier to play, in my opinion. And they're harder to stop because once you get off Trick Room, and a lot of teams do not have counter Trick Room, so once you get it off, you're just thriving. But Torkoal's going to come out here alongside with uh, Skull Villain. So Intimidate's going to pop. Um, might not even pop Trick Room, to be honest with you. Might not even pop Trick Room. It depends. Does Star Raptor have more HP than Torkoal? You do. I might final game be the Torkoal. I'd rather just get rid of the Torkoal, correct? Good Brave Bird You know what? I'm going to final game the Torkoal. I'm just going to Psychic the Skull Villain, just in case Torkoal protects. And Skull Villain's going to go for it. Uh, flame. Wow. I think it's got to be Choice. He's faster than my Choice Scarf Star Raptor. He's getting ripped today. Getting ripped. So we did not pop a Trick Room. It's kind of tough on our end. Because I only have a Trick Room Pokemon in the back of me. He's going to yawn me. So now it's going to be a play to pop a Trick Room. Um, mm, I guess we just go into Torkoal. I guess we just go into Torkoal here. Yeah. Or I could have went to Ursula and just protect it. Which probably should be my play. I'm just going to Earth Power this thing down. And I'll try to pull off a Trick Room. Off news here. Overheat's coming out here. You're not choice. You are just out speeding me like that? That is wild. You're not choice. You're that fast. I gotta see Star Raptor speed real quick. I gotta I got look at that. Cause see, that thing's choice scarf. I'm just getting ripped. So he's gonna end up yawning. That's fine. From here, I get to do a nice little earth power. Chunk up some damage and I get off trick room. I feel like, I feel as Ursula and I can get some work done. But I'm about to go to sleepy sleep night nights.
Hmm. I'm trying to heat wave in this position. But uh, your option's gonna work fine. But wait a minute. Let me let me see something real quick. Yeah, you are scarfed, and that school villain's outspeeding you. That's odd. That's a quick, quick school villain. That thing get up that high on speed. I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I'm missing something, right? That is weird. That is weird. But from here, I'm just gonna try to uh, stay alive. Or try to wake up soon and just pop an eruption. Can we KO the other Torkoal? We can. So Torkoal's MVP right now. He's killing it in today's video. He's going to sleep here, though. He's going to sleep. So if I can wake up and just get off some damage, I would like whatever certain. Because I feel as Ursula can, you know, get things cooking. Still got Terra, still got it all. And my Pokemon are slumped. Night, night, double yawn session. Double yawn. So we'll see, they got Azumarill. I mean, I can rip into that with uh, with my boy, but Dragonite's a little bit of an issue. Dragonoit, tad bit of an issue. I hope it's kind of choice in like East Speed or something. That could be good for us. But from here, I'm just gonna go into the Earth Power and I'll try to clean if I can wake up. Get off some damage, but nah, yo, I'm slumped. Can you wake up, Friggy? Friggy, wake up. You do not wake up. You're gonna die in the play rough. So I'm kind of hoping Choice is into a terrible move, but he's gonna do it right. He's gonna D dance. Ew! It's enough out of you. It's enough out of you. I had enough. I had enough. I had enough. And Torkoal, can you wake up here? Be a lovely sight. It would indeed be a lovely sight. We're gonna have to Terrasilize or Ursulina. Do we have two turns left in Trick Room? We do. I could protect it here. But I'm gonna go for an eruption. If I can if I can wake up and get off an eruption, I would like that. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna protect Ursa. Get my guts triggered and kinda go from there. But out comes a Terra from Dragonite, maybe? I'm kinda hoping it's Dragonite so I can EQ freely. It is Dragonite. Into normal. Normal Terra Dragonite. I'm protecting. So he's D Dance plus one. The thing's speed is through the roof. It's attacks through the roof. And he's E speeding on me. Chill on me. Chill on me. That's a big time damage. Can you wake up? Just take off multi scale? You do not. Her soul. Her soul. And Playoff's gonna come into this slot. Okay. Hmm. So from here, I'm just going to try to protect the Torkoal if I can. The Trick Room is gone, right? Or do we have one more turn? We have one more turn. I might as well try. Now, I'm going to protect. If I can wake up, protect. And then just go into a Terra Facade. Into a Zero. All right, let's do this. This battle's coming down to the wire, ladies and gentlemen. The wire. Let's see, I think one facade could actually KO this is zoom real. It's stab, it's double damage because we're burned. We got the guts boost as well. Everything's going crazy. And Torkoal is still asleep. A three turn sleep, Torkoal, in the heat of the moment. In the heat of the moment. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna take a nap. Come on, man. I need ya. I need ya. But the good thing is he can't E speed me because we're ghost typing. The side's gonna fly, we need KO here. And Ursa Luna prevails, so big time KO. We got a match, Trick Room's gone though. Trick Room is gone. Hmm. Trick Room is a goner. And from here, he probably has multi-scale, and I'm just gonna go into a facade to knock it off. Depending on how much damage we do, we'll probably just go into a headlong rush next turn, just for big time damage, and he's gonna Iron Head me. I think, I think we might be good here. I flinch? What you mean? I flinch and chances are we lose the match now? Cause I flinch? This move actually does more damage, facade will. Head long rush, it's stab, but this is also double. Facade does more damage. It's, oh, come on, you get a flinch? I'm gonna lose on that, I'm gonna lose on the flinch. Let's just think, this one facade's over here with multi-scale, yeah. Yeah, if I hit him, if I did not flinch last turn, we win this match all day. An Iron Head flinch takes away the winning record. I apologize, guys. Not my fault. 
That's terrible. That is just ugly to look at. That is so ugly to look at. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. Should be 3 and 0. We played absolutely amazing. Today. The Star Raptor team in regulation D was fire. It absolutely killed it today. 2 and 1. Nothing better I can say about it. Should have went 3 and 0, but you guys know. A little bit of Iron Head flinch. Doing me dirty. Doing me so dirty. Do not like that. RNG. Every here and there will get to me, but uh. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that bigger subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread this positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.